Welcome to the 2000 Decade Gladiator Round Tournament. Today's matchup features Jay Cutler versus Dexter Jackson. Wow, what a comparison this will be. Before I begin this matchup, I'm going to give this YouTube channel a shout out. And trust me when I tell you, this is less of a shout out and more of a prediction. This guy's channel is going to skyrocket right to the top. You can see there one of his videos about Dorian Yates' tattoo. Many of you may have seen that on Nick Strength and Power's channel. He posted a video about that a few days after desktop bodybuilding. This guy is up to date, I'm telling you. Check this channel out. And I, like I said, this is less of a shout out. You can see his subscriber level is at 700 there. I guarantee it's going to be in the 8s or 900s when this video is posted. But on with today's comparison. And many of you may be confused as to why I selected the 1999 version of Jay Cutler, as opposed to a more massive version, where he easily could have dwarfed poor little Dexter Jackson. Well, here's the simple fact. I focus a great deal on aesthetics, and when it comes to this 99 version of Jay Cutler, this front relaxed position cannot be beat. He still has those massive lags and delts, and that, in a, in a way, that does dwarf Dexter Jackson. And food for thought here. I know I may ruffle a few feathers. I never really appreciated the midsection of Dexter Jackson. I like the waistline. Don't get me wrong. He has a nice trim V-taper. It's the abs themselves. It's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles all over again. But... Like I said, I hate to ruffle a few feathers, but I am awarding Jay Cutler point number one in this competition. And color me surprised. As Jay picks up point number two before this competition began, and I would have said I easily prefer Dexter Jackson's physique aesthetically. But I'm afraid to tell you when I place them side by each here in a comparison. And Jay has Dexter's number. The trim waistline of this 2001 version, it's just too much. Look at the size of his legs, J uh, Jay Cutler. <sighs> Looks like Dexter Jackson is in a lot of trouble. Two to nothing for Jay. Boom! Dexter Jackson battles back. I cannot believe I am awarding Dexter the front lat spread. I easily would have thought this 2001 front lat spread of Jay Cutler would have flattened Dexter. But here's the thing, these earlier versions of Dexter Jackson, he had one world-class front lat spread, I'm here to tell you. Look at his Mr. Olympia lat spread in 2000, I believe. Unbeatable, and this is a night of champions, I think, and this is even better. Look at those Dorian-esque lats. Thank goodness for Dexter Jackson, he gets a nice, well-earned point here. And just like that, Dexter Jackson bounces back from the deficit that he was in. There's something about his side chest pose. Not only mechanically is he beating Jay Cutler, but aesthetically, that flow, unreal. Look at the size of those arms. Yes, I will admit, Jay Cutler's delts are much larger. But then again, those delts of Jay Cutler are probably the best and biggest in the business. But look at the pecs, look at the arms, the biceps and triceps of Dexter Jackson. And when you look at the legs, like I said, that flow, he is pieced together so perfectly in this matchup. What a contest, ladies and gentlemen. Tie game after four poses. It looks like a very close competition here in the side tricep. Oh my soul, which way do I vote? I would like to think that politics is playing no part in this. Of course, if I pick Dexter Jackson, you Jay Cutler fans are going to criticize that and say, Jay Cutler is a four-time Mr. Olympia. You have to pick him. Of course, if I pick Jay, then all you J Dexter Jackson fans are going to be equally upset. Of course, he's Dexter the Blade Jackson. Oh, my soul. I decided to go with Jay Cutler just slightly. And like I said, it is so slight, the difference here. Dexter Jackson seems to be a little bit more separated, I think, in the tricep. Of course, Jay, the insertions of his tricep are much lower, and that look is perhaps more desirable. 
when I look at the waistline, it is much more trim, and it looks like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle stomach once again for Dexter Jackson. I hate to criticize that man. He is fantastic. But I have to lean one way or the other, and Jay Cutler gets a point. The rear lat spread, however, is going to Dexter the Blade Jackson. And that name itself, the Blade, should explain why he is getting a victory. Look how sharp that conditioning is in the lower back. And that is an aspect where Jay Cutler, let's face it, he has one of the worst lower backs in the history of bodybuilding. That coupled with that fantastic wide lat and trap setup. Well, it's, un it's just aesthetically unpleasing to the eye. Now, yes, he has the advantage of the legs. Look at the size of those hamstrings and those thigh sweeps from the back. Unreal. But he has a badonka donk, a badonka donk, a big bum. And, of course, that is not aesthetic at all. Dexter Jackson here. This, I believe, is a Masters Olympia version, 2010. I'm not quite positive, but that is one of his best versions by far. So, Dexter Jackson ties things up here in the rear double bicep, and Jay Cutler battles back with one swipe of that sword. He is crushing Dexter in this pose. That lower back actually does not look too bad for Jay. Now, in my opinion, his best back shots were, I believe it is 2005 or 6? I think it's maybe 2005. That was a fantastic look for Jay Cutler. As far as his back was concerned, a few of the front shots, not the best for sure. And I can see why it wasn't his best overall version. But here, I must say, Dexter Jackson is being a little bit too dwarfed. Now, yes, Jay Cutler, that is the return of the Bay Donk O Donk, the Badonka Donk. But it's not enough for a loss. When I look at those biceps themselves, this is a rear double bicep after all. And like I said, he is being crushed. Look at those traps. Jay Cutler, I was never a fan of his back shots, but I must admit, this is a unbeatable rear double bicep pose in this competition. Things are pretty close here in the most muscular pose, and I am surprised at that. I thought for sure Jay Cutler would handle himself against the much smaller man, but the pecs and the biceps mean a whole lot in this pose to me. And when I look at Dexter Jackson, wow, phenomenal. Of course, those abs on Jay and that flow, coupled with those massive legs, he sure looks good here. Let's have another look at another most muscular. And of course, this is a combined one point for both. And I must say, Dexter Jackson has this one beat. Like I said, those arms and pecs mean a whole lot. And yes, Jay Cutler's pecs are winning. But those arms and that hard graininess of Dexter Jackson takes a point in this one. And ladies and gentlemen, if you were going to argue this one, look at the traps. Those traps, I believe it was Louis Marco said, it looks like elephant testicles resting on his neck. But anyway, I don't want to get nasty. But Dexter does look like he has elephant testicles resting on his neck. We have made it to the final pose. What a contest this turned out to be. And I must say, I was surprised at quite a few things when I compared these two dudes. And when I look at the abs, Jay Cutler is getting an edge in that aspect. And honestly, that does surprise me. Another surprising feature here, Jay Cutler is not winning in the thigh department. Wow. Now, yes, he does have much larger thighs, of course. But look at the separation and just that sheer dryness of Dexter Jackson that he displays in his thighs. Now, like I said, Jay was winning in the abs. And when you look at the obliques, there is no doubt. But here's the thing. Look at the aesthetic flow. Look at the proportions the lat difference in the waistline of Dexter Jackson. Ladies and gentlemen, Dexter Jackson is taking a slight point in this ab and thigh, and you all know what that means. Jay Cutler is out of the main event, and the blade Dexter Jackson is in. And so it is written. 
Dexter Jackson advances on to the main event in this Glided Around tournament. And what a main event match that will be. Ronnie Coleman versus Dexter the Blade Jackson. I hope you guys all look forward to that one. Concerning that matchup, of course, as well as each other main event matchup in all of the Gladiator Round tournaments, I will not be posting those matchups until I finally reach 1,000 subscribers and I am monetized. So really that gives us all something to look forward to. So perhaps you guys will be just as excited to see that 1,000 subscriber level. And don't forget to check out that desktop bodybuilding channel. I'm here to tell you, he's guaranteed to reach 1,000 subs before I do. And trust me when I tell you, when you do check his channel out, you will see why. He works so hard on his videos. He deserves all those subs that he does get. I hope you enjoyed this video. And look forward to that 1,000 subscriber level and all of those Gladiator Round Tournament main events. Have a good day.